Hello guys, today we'll be learning how to configure um, LDAP using port 389. Um, in the previous tutorial, we configured LDAPS using port 636. So here we're just going to go a quick overview using port 389. Um, as you can see here, the configuration is going to look similar to the previous one. All you need to do is change the LDAP S to LDAP, you have to put a fully qualified domain name or an IP address to the server, and then you do a port 389. Um, you need to change the SSL certificate connection to false because um, port 389 doesn't use an SSL certificate. Um, so you don't need a certificate to actually do this configuration. Um, you set TLS authentication to true because um, with IBM's curator, it starts um, the connection with port 389 with TLS authentication. So you set SSL to false, TLS to true, and then search entire base true. LDAP user field is set to SAM account name because remember um, Microsoft um, and Windows OS is use SAM account name. If you follow the IBM documentation, there's an old IBM documentation out there that says U, UID, um, as in UID, that's not going to work. So you have to do SAM account name. And then you do the user base DN, you can do um, your domain.com or you can include um, OUS2. You have to follow and then um, you use authenticated bind. You can use anonymous bind if your environment supports that. Mine doesn't. That's why I had to use authenticated bind. Um, you have to input a username that has permissions to look up in AD and the password. As you can see here, I used a service account because it has just that permission to look up. It has just the read access to AD. And then once you do that, you have to test it with a valid AD username. So here I use John Doe. And you can see it's successfully connected. And once that happens, you can either set it to local user like we did in the previous tutorial, or you can use group based. So with group based, uh, for example, I can go in here and input the OU that my uh, um, <coughs> group is included in and once you do that it will go ahead and config you go ahead and configure that on there so that's it for this tutorial it's pretty short because it's basically just a copy from the previous one um, if you like the tutorial you can hit the like button and also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or if you need help doing this, you can always put a comment below in the comment section and I will try my best to help you as soon as I can.